what's up guys we are the chain lift his name is mark my name's adam <laughs> we're gonna talk about a park that loves corn corn and that park is called indiana beach indiana it's beach. located in northern indiana monticello or monticello whatever your preference is sound like schaefer i know that yeah it's on lake schaefer mm -hmm. they have five coasters there we're gonna be counting down those five coasters from our least favorite to our favorite yeah uh, this, is, uh, this is a coaster countdown. It's a coaster countdown. It's a coaster countdown. So, anyways, uh, do you have anything else to add, or should we get into the countdown? He's wearing a beaver shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the beaver? That's right. <laughs> well, those are, I know this is a gas station in it is. Texas. What's it called? I don't know. Beaver. Bucky's or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I think it is Bucky Beavers. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Yeah. What's your number five? Okay, I'm starting off. My least favorite coaster at Indiana Beach is Lost Coaster of Superstitious Mountain. How dare you? Because it's a really unique coaster. Uh, it used to be a dark ride, I believe, and they uh, they revamped it into a coaster. It's an interesting coaster. It's unlike any coaster I've been on. Like you get into these weird baskets with surrounded by netting, and the coaster has a story and mild theming uh it's just not a very comfortable coaster it does have an elevator lift yeah it has elevator lift it's just not very comfortable i you know i kind of likened it when i wrote it it's almost like a mouse like a wooden mouse coaster yeah mm -hmm. there's a lot of like hairpin, hairpin turns. turns yeah um yeah it's not terribly comfortable another fun fact mm -hmm. this was cci's last finished coaster oh was it oh that's interesting yep. last yeah. finished coaster crazy coasters international <laughs> that's exactly what you're called <laughs> my number five mm -hmm. is Superstition Mountain, Lost Coaster, yeah. because it sucks. <laughs> What's your number four? <laughs> uh, my number four coaster, I was going to say too about Lost Coaster. The trains are inter interesting also because two people sit going backwards and two people sit going forwards. Yeah. And if you're going backwards, brace yourself because yeah. you'll hurt yourself. Just, I, it's well, unique, but it's uncomfortable. It's It was just rough. It was, yeah. It's boring. The elevator looked as sort of interesting. There's like yeah. a skeleton hanging yes. in there. But anyway. My number four coaster at Indiana Beach is was surprising to me, but it's Steel Hog. Huh. I had higher hopes for it, and it just underwhelmed me. It's uh, it's like a short, compact coaster. I forget what these kinds of coasters are called. Um, El Loco yes. coasters? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was going to call it a crazy coaster. That <laughs> <laughs> was close. <laughs> but uh, it was fine. It just uh, didn't impress me overall. It's a good. It's a really good coaster for that park, though. Yeah, it is. It's great it's for nice, that park. A lot of small parks. I don't know why they don't build. Yeah, more I didn't these. find it like a, a, as an uncomfortable ride by any means. For a while, they had the record for the biggest uh, the angle steepest drop. Steepest drop. Yeah, it did when yeah. it opened. Yeah, so it just didn't do anything for me. Really? Yeah. yeah. Number four for you, huh? Mm -hmm. My number four is. <laughs> oh, oh uh, tiger. Oh, okay. This is the Schwartz cough. Mm -hmm. Um, it's actually, there's only, this is one of three. Mm -hmm. it's, is it a Jetstar? It's a Jetstar. Yes. So one of three Jetstars still operating mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. So there's only, there's only three of these operating left. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't even hate it. I have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a, it, it, it sits on top of a building. I think it's one of the only rides or one of the only coasters built like on a building. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, like you, you can eat underneath it. There's yeah. like a little like restaurant underneath it, but yeah. uh, it's, it's really unique. It, mm -hmm. I, I think it's fun. Uh, yeah. The, um, it has, you know, of course, it has all like the helixes and the quick turns, mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't, I, I like it. It's just uh, like three other ones better. Yeah, and it has those trains where someone sits in between your legs. Oh yeah, it's uh -huh. not a great yeah. single rider coaster because if you have a lady on there, <laughs> well, you can uh, you can sit in between her legs. Or a guy or yeah. whatever. Uh, yeah. So, my number, am I a number four? No, I'm a number three. You're a number three. My number three, ladies and gentlemen, is the Hoosier Hurricane. Go pin it. He yeah. paid, I think he paid what, like three bucks? Three ninety nine or something. Man, dirt cheap. It was a steal. So, who's your hurricane? It's uh, it's one of the oldest coasters at the park. Uh, I had ridden it back in the early nineties, mid nineties, and then riding it again. It's a cool coaster because it's, it goes along Lake Schaefer. Um, it's kind of a an out and back wooden coaster. It's just a little rough. I, I so, didn't think it was too bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I have wooden coasters. I prefer out and backs generally. Yeah, oh, I do too, for sure. And you know, it's it's really beautiful views. You know, right right next to the lake there. Mm -hmm. 
All right, she's looking a little rundown in her age. Yeah. But, no, it's it's a fine, totally fine poster. Yeah, that's my number three. It's my number three time now, huh? Yeah. My number three is Hoosier Hurricane. Um, we talked about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I, I I really do like uh, like the you know you, you kind of you go up the lift hill and it has like this little like S curve almost mm-hmm. into the drop. I yeah. really like that. Like it has like small little things that I really appreciate. I mean, yeah. you know, dropping down by the water. It's all in the water there. What do you um, think about the name? It's, it's fine. It's yeah. unique. I mean, yeah. there there are a lot of Hoosiers in Indiana. Yeah, yeah, it's it's different. You drop underneath the the the, uh, the bridge, the entrance bridge right there, and then you do a nice. There's list. definitely cool elements of the ride. I, I do like when you go around like the turnaround. You, you're like right next to the Ferris wheel right there, yeah. which is really cool. I, um, I do like the way it interacts with the rest of the park. Yeah, you know, I, I really wish that you know they could take better care of it because I mean mm-hmm. it is a beautiful looking coast like I love yeah. staying on that bridge it looks amazing right there yeah so imagine I had a nice paint job and right yeah you know. the bridge that we walk sure. across like Schaefer yeah it's a beautiful view yeah yeah so we're on to my number two yeah I was surprised by this my number two favorite coaster at Indiana Beach is Tiger Tiger and uh I was going into the park I didn't expect it to be just because it's an older coaster mm-hmm. um I'd been on it before but it was I had probably my favorite ride of the day was on Tiger. It's fun. It's really fun. And uh, Schwarzkopf, they always, they're super smooth. I like them. Mm-hmm. No matter if it's like the Jetstar or... Colossus. Yeah, or Colossus at Lagoon. Lagoon. Like, they're all super smooth, really fun. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. I sit on top. Was that restaurant called the Tiger's Den? Yeah, I think so. Tiger. Yep. It mm-hmm. has a really uh, cool uh, mural, like, of a spray tiger. painted on the side of it. Yeah, like airbrush. Walk over. With it's a, isn't cool. it a tiger leaping out of grass? Yeah. Well, you're, you're, you're looking at it right now. Yeah, because I took the, <laughs> yeah. the liberty of recording it. Yeah, uh, so Tiger. Yeah, my number two is Steel Hog. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was definitely disappointed by it. Like, I, I guess I expected more fun. Uh, on the first drop, I don't like that they kind of like break it. Like when you yeah, fully drop I agree. down, it, yeah. it, it kind of takes all the um, all the it takes all the hogginess the... out of it. <laughs> It's not as hoggy as it could be. <laughs> but it does have really cool elements. Like, it has that really great, like, barrel roll into, mm-hmm. the, into the dive loop element. And it has, like, like that weird, like... Like, outer banked uh, hairpin turn. Yeah, and yeah, it has, uh-huh. like, that barrel roll, but it's, like, like <laughs> angling down, like, towards yeah. the end. There's some really great stuff there. Um, it just... Uh, I guess it, it just felt like... I feel like they nerfed it in a way, like yeah, some breaks I know what you're on saying. it. Yeah, like, I think it could have been. That's better. what I felt about it too. Like it was just like they were holding it back a little bit. But, just let it loose. But it's still, but yeah. it's, it's still a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't like the restraints, man. They can really stape you on there. They can be really yeah. uncomfortable. Yep. The trains weren't my favorite. You want to be a little loose in there. For that a station. Ride. That station is one ugly station. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Yeah, you're, looking at, you're looking at it right now. It's a good coaster for the park, though. It is. And any small park, you should add one of these. Sure, absolutely. I don't know what it costs, but I imagine it's not under ten. For yeah, sure. not terribly expensive. So, well, we're both our number ones, Rob. Yes, yeah. we can. It's Cornball Express. Cornball Express. Express. I have to edit that down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, I, what's this guy doing? He's gonna blow your ears out. Sorry. Send your hate mail to Adam. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Cornball okay. Express was CCI. Mm-hmm. It was actually one of the last coasters too. Yeah. Um, Man, it, it's a lot of fun. You know, I tell you, it's only like 50 feet, I think. Yeah, um, it's not super tall. That, that first drop is very, I, I would almost say GCI-esque a little yeah, bit. It's not quite it, as like banked like, mm-hmm. as you're going down. Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. When you go down that first drop and you kind of go into that next, like, you kind of go in like that, like, like, I guess it's like a bank turnaround right there, mm-hmm. right? It, you're like some really solid airtime right there. And we got a great tip to ride it in the back. Yes. And that tip was crucial because we originally, when we first wrote I think we wrote it in the front or near the front mm-hmm. because we typically do that with older wooden coasters because if it's going to be rough, usually in the front is a more comfortable ride. But then someone gave us a tip to ride in the back. And boy, that made a huge difference. Oh, man. You fly out of seat. You get, especially on the main drop, like you were saying, it is kind of like one of those GCI drops where it like swoops down. It like it yanks you down in the back, and you get some airtime like going down the yeah. hill. It like, and then there's a couple other like amazing airtime moments on the coaster in the back, uh, particularly. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like the uh, sort of second drop when you're going around Tiger by the water. You get nice, great views mm-hmm. of the water there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get a 
a pretty gnarly uh, helix towards the end. And it's like it's like over the kitty area. Yeah. It really interacts with everything. And, and non ride thing, I love like walking underneath. Yeah, this uh, corner ball in Hoosier because you just look up and it's just it's just wood supports everywhere yeah. on top mm-hmm. of like steel beams. It looks so cool. Yeah, it is really cool. They, they actually share some of like the steel beams. Yeah, they they share some support structure because and, and the, the lifthouse go the opposite way at one yeah. point. It's really mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, it's cool how they interact together. They definitely had to cram Cornball Express into the into the uh, yep. park. But they made it work, and it's a cool layout. And I think it's a un- unique layout because they had to make it specifically fit uh, that area. Yeah, like, it, it it's almost a like room. a big square, but it is really cool. And I love the trains. Oh, yeah, I love, I love the corn the little, stalks oh, on there. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's seriously one of my favorite trains yeah, of all cool. time. Yeah, uh, it's really good. I mean, you're interacting with Hoosier Hurricane, the mm-hmm. Flume, uh, the Kid Rides. Yeah. You're interacting with Tiger. I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. And like uh, this station, you almost have to walk up. You you walk up quite a ways to get up to the station. It's pretty high up. Yeah. It reminds me of, not thinking about it, it, reminds me of like Cannibal a little bit. It does, yeah. <laughs> the, the big like yeah. sh- shaft. The shaft, yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah. it's a really good coaster, and I think it's easily the best coaster at the to park. To me, it's an all-brainer. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. easily the best uh, coaster at the park. Yes. So, yeah. Let's wrap this up. Okay. Uh, we've talked about Indiana Beach long enough. Corn, 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 so, corn, 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 There's more than corn in Indiana. Corns apparently. and grain. Yeah. So you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at The Chain Lift. We have a podcast on iTunes and Spreaker. Uh, we have some stuff for sale in our Chain Lift store. You can find the link on our Twitter page. Yep. We have a walkthrough of Indiana Beach. Yeah. Go to our page and check it out. Yeah. Uh, you can listen it. to the soothing vocals of me the whole time. Yeah. I was riding the chairlift while he was doing the walkthrough. So. A lazy bum. <laughs> and then uh, uh, check out airtimemisfits.com for mm-hmm. some vintage defunct coaster-related yep. merch. And uh, leave us a comment. Subscribe. <laughs> Uppercut that like button. Hmm. Doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. All right. You want me to play a tune on the way out? Do you know, uh... Do you know, hit me, baby, one more time? Gorgeous. (laughs) Bye, guys.